Hey guys, wanted to show you something that I've been working on. It's more of a concept. I wanted to basically have the ability to carry everything that I have that I would carry on my my regular duty belt setup and legit just take everything from the belt and put it on a low profile setup that I could use, you know, on plain clothes work or whatever it may be. And I think I found something pretty good. I've looked at other options out there, uh, like the Unity Clutch Belt. Uh, it's pretty, if you look at that, you'll see kind of the root that I'm thinking. And uh, there were some things that I really didn't like about the Uni Unity Clutch Belt, like a way to not lock in the system. It was just relying on neoprene in order to keep it in place. And I've experienced a lot of products that have neoprene and it's okay, but it just did not sit where I wanted it to be. And then there was another company, I can't even remember the name of it, but it was a Kydex belt that was similar to this, um, where it just clip in with your, uh, with your belt line. And, uh, but it just felt like I guarantee you, I didn't even want to try to get in. I think they're out of, out of business now. Um, I don't even think I could get my hands on one if I wanted to, but that system, I felt like I would probably be sitting in, you know, almost feeling like I'm sitting in a bucket, you know, uh, and I felt, felt that it would be uncomfortable. So this is kind of a compromise that I, that I came up with. So if you guys know your gear at all, this is actually a Faro Concepts, uh, cummerbund, you know, the one where you have the ability to put four and four mags and, uh, there's some, you know, adjustability right here. It's just two pieces, two cells. So what I, so I just sized it all the way down because it's on my waist. I can get away with it, you know, being sized all the way down. If you have a smaller waist, you could probably get away with, you know, with that. I wouldn't take it any further than that because you start to get to lose the usability of the Velcro. The adhesion is not the best. But, uh, so what I did, like I said, with the original thought was to make as minimal modifications as possible, especially no permanent modifications. Uh, I just wanted to repurpose gear that I already had. And, uh, this is actually a inner belt from 511, their, uh, their Maverick battle belt, uh, inner, inner belt. I actually like this one a lot. Uh, it does a good job and it looks presentable even when you have the other belt off and, you know, it naturally has that curve and it really does help out a lot. Uh, with the Faro Concepts belt, I'll show you the, uh, the underside. So what I did was I took a bit of, uh, just this loop Velcro and cut it to the size of the Faro Concepts. Now, if I wanted to just run the belt over all my clothing, not have any, you know, if I'm wearing it over a jacket or something, I could just do that. And I may put something later on, like a gripping, you know, like a neoprene or something to help keep it in place, but that's just there for now. And it, it serves its purpose, purpose just fine. But when I'm wearing this belt, I'll have this through my belt loops and I'll just put this on, on top of it and it holds in place very well. So I've got, uh, in this one, you can see I've got it bungeed in tied to the bottom loops uh, with this Kydex insert. This Kydex insert is from G-Code. It's just one that I happen to have. You could find a better uh, Kydex insert, like double mag carrier, uh, to do that. But I've got these 21 rounder P-Mags, you know, the Glock P-Mags. These have been very reliable. I have not had any issues with these. Um, of course, your standard 30 round P-Mag. Um, Got a ProTac uh, 2L from Streamlight. I like this light because it's small. I can keep it like that. And it's just been a good, reliable light for me. Um, may get a rechargeable one here in the future. And then I've got, of course, Gen 7 Cat Tourniquet. I think in my previous video, I showed you that uh, I took the Velcro off. It's based, I think it's the same the same uh, tourniquet actually that I showed you guys. But what I did was, for those of you who didn't see the other 
the other uh, video, I took the Velcro off. It had a bit of an adhesive back here, and it ruin it does not ruin the the usability of the tourniquet, and uh, it's just a nice way. So I'm not having Velcro and extra stuff, uh, and it just looks better in my opinion. Uh, and if you guys are worried about not having the timestamp on there, that's included with it. I just use a sharpie, you know, mark it on the skin or close to on an article of clothing next to the the wound. This right here, I've got just a blowout kit. You guys have seen something similar from the previous video as well. It's a little more expanded from what I already had. This right here is kind of a kind of a placeholder. I mean, this is one of the many radios that I have. Um, I'm just showing it for you, you know, just for size comparison. You could fit her, fit a bigger radio in here, of course, and it should do fine. Um, except when you start getting into the really bulky radios, then, you know, you start having issues. For right now, I don't have the best spot for this. I'll probably put it in my pocket just below the, uh, when the belt's sitting, it'll be on my, uh, sitting on my hips. It'll be this, these magazines right here will be on my left side. And so the bottom of the, uh, the part of my pocket where I clip a pocket knife or something, I'd probably just keep it right there if I was running a bigger radio. But right now, I actually like it. Oh, there we go. See, we've got the frequencies here. But anyway, that sits right there. When it's on the belt, it looks like it's all scrunched together. It's because when it's on my body, it all stretches out and everything has its place and nothing's obstructing my ability to grab my firearm. This right here, I just have a Kydex insert uh, that I just bungeed or, or paracorded in. It's locked in in a couple different spots and it works just fine. Uh, this is a Glock 45. It's the 9mm Gen 5 Glock 45 with a Hollow Sun 5019 TLR1 HL from Streamlight. You can tell I like Streamlight a lot. And then I've got a couple of you know, Smith & Wesson's right here, good old trusty Smith & Wesson's. And uh, that's the setup, so I'm going to uh, put on this belt setup so you guys can see how it how it works with what I already have going. So, I just put it on like I would any other duty belt. It's pretty much exactly the same process. So just feed this in. Get it where I want it. There goes the there goes the radio again. But anyway, so I did this to where I do this side first, and it locks the belt in place. And there we go. I've had no issues with it, you know, with it coming off. This is plenty of retention. If I wanted to, I could sew the, you know, the strip of Velcro in order to do it, kind of like the Unity Clutch had. It did. It was really secure. That's one thing I did like about the Unity Clutch. But anyway, you can see it right here. You know, I got everything where I want it. And, uh, you know, just make your micro adjustments. Make sure it's comfortable. But I can grab grab everything that I need. Uh, the only thing that I have a little touch of trouble with is just getting my finger in there to pull out my cuffs. I may create a system to where it kind of keeps it open so I can pull them out. But it's got good retention on. But re... Inserting mags is easy with this insert right here, and it's just a good system. And then I'll show you how it conceals. So I'm, I usually wear a large or an extra large shirt. This just happens to be from 511. And uh, it's an extra large, so I went up a size. So it's a nice lightweight shirt. Looks professional, but it doesn't look too assuming. It doesn't look too tactical. But it it works. And then just do that. And definitely the snaps help a lot if you have to get to your gear. Um, so yeah, you see that, you know, it's not bad. I mean, the untrained eye wouldn't be able to tell unless you knew anything about tactical clothing. I mean, shoot, 
you'd be able to, I, this screams, you know, I'm a off duty officer or this or that, or, you know, plain clothes officer. But I mean, you know, if you're working that and that's kind of what you want to go for, you know, still look professional, but have your, have your equipment concealed. This is a great way, the way I've got it set up right now, but you know, I can still move around and you really, especially to the untrained eye, you wouldn't, you wouldn't realize, but I mean, this is a nice setup, you know? So anyway, hope you guys like that and let me know uh, what you think in the comments.